Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Sensations. Last time I left you off right after Greed murdered us because he was extremely clingy, couldn't handle it if um, we tried to be with anyone else, if he, he couldn't have us, no one could, and so this time we were honest with him. I decided to be honest with him and tell him that I would come back and see him, which is what I told Sloth and Envy, so, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll see who I was actually being honest with. Anyway, <laughs> John Anderson, swimmer. John Anderson is a 6'3", 25-year-old, all-American guy that enjoys all the exquisite cuisine and dining opportunities Las Vegas has to offer. At the young age of 16, John was already over 6 feet tall and eating more than 4,000 calories a day. Much to the amazement of his classmates, teachers, and family. John is an all-around physically attractive person, oops, physically active person, that views exercise as a means to eat more. He routinely consumes seven to 10,000 calories a day and spends his non-eating time at the gym or pool, working off the excess calories so he can eat again. John has a pleasant, caring demeanor and loves his pet husky. Ganny more than anything in the world. 25 years old, fairly experienced, 6'3", 210 pounds. All right, let's get with the American. I select Gluttony, and the watch immediately homes in on where he is. It says he's at a Chinese food buffet. I guess that's not really surprising. His name is John Anderson. He looks like a pretty cheerful guy. I guess I'll head over to the restaurant and see if I can catch him when he exits. I walk down the Vegas Strip, away from the high-end casinos, towards the old end of town. The farther I go, the older and more run down the buildings and casinos become. Trash and cigarettes carpet the ground here. Several people walk around. They seem to have no place to be. This definitely isn't a tourist area. I spot the Grand China Buffet as I walk. It's a standalone building crowded between a strip mall. I decide to sit on a bench and wait for a tall man to exit matching the appearance of the small image on my phone. After 30 minutes of waiting and no movement on my watch, I decide to go in. I'm not hungry, but I can at least see what he's doing in there and prepare to talk to him. I walk inside and allow my eyes to adjust from the sunlight to the dim interior lighting. The interior is decorated in typical Chinese buffet style. The majority of the restaurant is empty except for one table in back that has a mountain of dirty dishes on it. A tall, muscular guy that looks exactly like the image on my phone. I found John Anderson, Lucifer's current deadly sin of gluttony. I glance around. The employees of the restaurant look depressed, and the staff peer out at gluttony with apprehension. He must be a regular. Why don't they just ban him from the buffet? <laughs> or at least tell him, you know, it's like, you're gonna have to like pay quadruple, like for the normal person. You know? <laughs> I think I should go talk to him, but maybe that's too forward. Maybe he'll be annoyed that someone interrupted his eating? Alright. Walk over to him and talk. Wait until he's finished. Um... I forget what's good here. I feel like waiting until he's finished is actually the bad choice. I decide okay. to walk over to him. Annie notices me, but simply looks at me quizzically, while continuing to devour a plate of crab legs. Because I think waiting until he finishes? For some reason he's upset about that. Even though you think maybe he'd want to be in un uninterrupted while he's eating since he's gluttony, but I guess not. Hi there. Gluttony finishes chewing and burps loudly. Charming. I'll have to teach him some manners. <laughs> Whoops, sorry about that. How's it going? Going well. Uh, I was just coming over to say hi. And try to get in those pants. This may sound weird, but I thought you were attractive and figured I'd say so. How are you? Oh, thanks. I am doing great. I'm absolutely destroying this buffet. I came in right after my morning jog. I certainly worked up an appetite. <laughs> I can see that. I was wondering if you'd be up to go out sometime. I normally don't ask people so frankly, but hey, why not, right? I am so smooth. 
I love the honesty. Honestly. I think that this world has gotten sort of touch with new tech and that social media crap. I can appreciate when someone talks in real life. So, is that a yes? Hmm, hmm. I'm interested, but I gotta tell ya, I maintain a very active lifestyle. I'm just about to go hit up the gym after I finish off the last of these Rangoons. I love Rangoons. Wanna come to the gym with me? It could be a test date. That sounds good to me. Mind if I sit while you finish? Please do. I sit down with Gluttony and witness an absolute marvel of consumption. Gluttony burns through six more plates before dabbing the corners of his mouth daintily. You know, he must actually destroy a toilet. Like, it must be a war zone in there when he's finished. <laughs> oh god, I just, that's so disgusting. I can't imagine how bad it, uh, it must get clogged every single time. Don't tell me it doesn't. Before we head out, I'm sorry for being so rude. I don't even know your name. Mine's John. Mine's Kosuke. It's great to meet you. Wow, that's a super cool name. It's like from one of those uh, Japanese cartoons. So awesome. <laughs> Thanks. Well, lunch was delicious, as always. I come here twice a week because it's all you can eat for four ninety nine. Can't beat that price. Oh, why are there so many cheap buffets and cheap food places and um in Las Vegas because I remember there was also I think we ate in another place I forget which route was it Envy's yeah I think his the prices at his family's restaurant were so cheap and this buffet is so cheap look why is it this is it's too cheap it's, it's not this cheap <laughs> I guess not you ready to hit the gym you just read my mind I've got a killer workout planned for today let's go then all right, follow me. We exit the Chinese buffet, and Gluttony starts jogging. I run to keep up with him. Hey, uh, are we going to the gym? We sure are. It's only a couple of miles from here. Just follow me. Oh. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> Gluttony sets off jogging at a brisk pace, and I suddenly have massive doubts about my ability to seduce him. I've never been the physical fitness type, after all. I have to give it my best shot, though. What would Lucifer do if I failed? We should have bought a little scooter with our $300. <laughs> or was it 400 Whatever. We jog past some run-down abandoned strip malls and through a couple shady-looking alleyways. Gluttony doesn't appear to be bothered at all, so I guess I'm not bothered by the area either. It probably helps that he's tall, muscular, probably has a massive dick, too. Oh, dear. Being lust gives you intrusive thoughts. By the time we arrive at a gym called Planet Swole, I'm gasping for breath. Gluttony doesn't seem like it's anything out of the ordinary for him. Gluttony stops and runs slowly in place. You did great. We're here. I'm having a mega cramp after running right after all that salt intake. Let's go get hydrated before we continue. Uh, okay. Uh. I follow mm -hmm. Gluttony inside, my legs feeling wobbly from the unexpected run. Thankfully, there's a water fountain close by. Gluttony goes up to the check-in counter while I desperately gulp down water. Hey, Kate. Me and my friend Kosuke checking in today. Just letting you know. Is it pizza day? I'm getting a little hungry. No, John. That's only once a week, and it was yesterday. Darn. Oh, well. Thanks, Kate. You're the best. Have a good workout, John. I finish drinking and rejoin Gluttony. He looks excited to get started. Oh, wait, is that a real background back there? Wait, is that an actual picture of, like... No, it isn't. Is it? Am I stupid? I'm sorry, guys. I don't know. I'm looking, like, out the window in the background. I'm like, is that real? Oh, I guess it looks good. I don't know. All right, bro. We can do one of two things to get started. We can hit up the sauna. It's great to loosen your muscles before a workout. Or... We can just help each other stretch and get straight to the workout. It's up to you. All right. What do you want to do? Sauna. My man, that's how I like to start off too. You got any gym clothes? Are you sure that's how you like to start off? Because he gave me a diamond, a purple diamond. A vibrating, pulsating purple diamond. Hmm, no, unfortunately. That's all right. I got some extra stuff here. 
You might have to tie the waistband tight, but the tank top should do just fine. Don't worry, it's all clean. I'm not gonna give you something all musty. Haha, <laughs> alright. Let's go get your stuff and I'll change. Awesome, man. Follow me. We walk to the locker room, where a variety of people in various stages of undress mill around. Apparently, Planet Swole has a pool. The locker room smells like chlorine. A few guys in bathing suits walk past and give us a nod. Gluttony ignores everyone and walks purposefully to his locker. Here we are. This is my battle station. I keep some electrolyte replacements and extra gym clothes here just in case, you know? Seems like a good plan. What have you got for me to wear? Something spicy, perhaps? <laughs> what? I don't know. It's just a sauna. What do you what like? What do you think he's gonna have you wear? Well, that's gonna be up to you. I'll let you pick what you want and give you a second to change. When you're ready, just stuff your other clothes into my locker and we'll hit the sauna. All right. I'll be just a second. Hmm. What should I wear? Oh, a shirt. And a sauna? Wait, I'm confused. Is this for after our sauna? Okay, let's show off our noodly arms. I make my selections and stow my extra clothes in Gluttony's locker. I round the corner where Gluttony is waiting to give me privacy. Hey, looking good, not gonna lie. Alright, you need anything else before we hit the sauna? I guess we're going to the sauna like this. No, I think I'm good. Confused. Alright, let's go. We walk to the sauna entrance. There's a couple people sitting inside, but plenty of space for everyone to sit. Grab a towel if you want. I normally stay in there for about 10 to 15 minutes. Without warning, Gluttony takes off his clothes and places them on a clothing rack outside the sauna. I stare at his ass. Hey, I'm lust. I'm only a little shameless. Gluttony loops a towel over his shoulder and walks in. Yeah, this is even crazier than Greed, who is a little too muscular for me. Apparently. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be naked too, so I just take off my shirt, grab a towel, and follow Gluttony in. Which may begs the question why we even put this tank top on to begin with. I follow Gluttony from the sauna, over to the free weights. Gluttony grins and rubs his hands together. Alright, let's start off with some light reps. Grab a set of weights that aren't too heavy and follow my lead. Got it. I walk up to the weight rack and select a set of 8 pound weights. Hmm, heavier than I'd like, but I don't want to look like a total weakling. All right, here we go. I curl my arms up, following Gluttony's movements. Gluttony seems to do it effortlessly, whereas I can already feel myself tiring out. One, two, three, four, five, six. Gluttony counts out the repetitions, and by the end of the first 20, my arms feel like limp noodles. I'm determined to make it through the last two, though. Okay, rest a second. Take some deep breaths. Get the oxygen back to those muscles. All right, let's go again. <sighs> my arms rebel against me, screaming at the sudden abuse. I grit my teeth and make it through the second rep, though I'm sweating profusely. Nice. I didn't think you'd make it. One more rep, and then we take a break for some cardio work. My head feels faint, as gluttony relentlessly counts down the third repetition. I miss a few counts, as my arms struggle to hold up to Gluttony's pace. Lol. 19... 20... Woo! He's gonna think we're a beta male. I drop my weights back on the weight rack and sit on a nearby bench, breathing heavily and feeling like my arms are on fire. No, I'm just a sigma, I just don't care what others think, you know? <laughs> I don't even care enough to even try- I'm not even trying right now, you know? Kosuke, you inspire me! I remember when I struggled like that. But you worked through it. Nice determination. You'll be deadlifting me in no time. Oh god. I'm too out of breath to respond, but Gluttony's compliments make me feel good. He's a pretty positive guy. Alright, while you take a short break, I'll get the treadmill set up. We're just gonna run for a little bit, on an incline, to help tone those leg muscles. Nothing too bad. G great <laughs> Gluttony walks excitedly over to the treadmills. He seems to like having a person to work out with. I'm glad I have at least something I can focus on with him. It makes dating a lot easier when you can do something together. Over here! Come on now, don't rest too long, or your muscles will start to stiffen. I sorely walk over to the treadmill, 
mentally cursing Lucifer for his shitty test. Okay, so, we're going to do a steep incline, but it's just going to be a brisk walk. You don't gotta run when doing cardio. Even just a little effort helps to elevate the heart rate. So are we gonna have to, like, um, do this the entire time we're dating him? Like, are we gonna have to constantly come to the gym with him and work out all the time? It's like, is it worth it anymore? Like, Lucifer, just take me back to hell. Just kill me. I step on the treadmill, and Gluttony steps on his. The treadmill gives a brief countdown, and then starts. I begin walking, and Gluttony starts as well. So, I gotta say, not many people ask someone out blindly. Have we ever met before? No, I just see what I like and I go for it. A man after my own heart. That's a great attitude to have. Just take everything day by day. Don't get too caught up in worrying about the future. Am I right? Yeah, that's a good outlook to have. Are you local to Vegas? I am. I just moved here recently. Awesome. Sorry for asking. Was just making sure you aren't trying to hit it and quit it. You know what I mean? Oh, okay. Yeah. So he's already telling us he has some kind of attachment or abandonment issues. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. I know what you mean. No, I mean, we'll, I mean, we'll hit it like three or four times, then we'll quit it. So, uh, where do you live? I'm at the apartment complex right across the street. Has a kind of nice view from one of my windows, if you lean out of it. Well, I'm actually in the process of looking for a place to live. I just moved here, so I've been staying here and there while trying to decide. I gotcha. I'd offer for you to crash at my place, but I don't know if you're a serial killer yet. Oh, well, you know... I'm gonna have to crash at your place, <laughs> regardless whether you're okay with it or not. It's kind of what I've been doing. Uh... <laughs> I'm just messing with you, bro. Don't be so serious. It's not worth Good, it. Good, because I do not have any residents. <laughs> Sorry. I guess it is pretty strange to be on a date with someone you just met. Hey, man. My parents met when they crashed into each other at a roller skating rink. My mom had a broken nose, but it was love at first sight. Nothing wrong with something out of the ordinary. That's true. So, if you don't mind me asking, you look kinda young. Not that it's a bad thing, but I have a strict rule for not dating people more than seven years younger than me. Strict. I'm 24, so unless you're 30, we're good. Nope, I'm 25, a quarter of a century old. Awesome, so we have the age thing out of the way. What is it that you do for work? Well, I gotta be honest, I don't really work. I volunteer to coach the co-ed swim team here at Planet Swole, but other than that, not much. Oh, how do you survive and eat and stuff? <laughs> it's not a very interesting story. My parents put some money in an investment when I was little. After they died, I only found out about it because some lawyers talked to me about their estate and stuff. All this intergenerational wealth in white families. Turns out their investments totaled several hundred thousand. I cashed them all out, bought a cheap apartment in Vegas, and I've been living off of it ever since. I mean, I guess, sure, I mean... But I mean, you probably need, like, um... Some money somewhere else eventually, right? <laughs> I mean, it's probably, I don't think it's gonna last you your whole life. Oh. Makes sense. What do you do? I stumble briefly on the treadmill at the question, and Gluttony reacts lightning fast, reaching out and steadying me while continuing his own walk. I'm an artist, college educated, but I'm looking for work here now, so in between jobs currently. Hey, that's cool. You do any of those fancy 3D animations? Well, I do a little, but my focus is really on 2D art. He's trying to learn Blender. Sweet. Maybe you can help me draw a logo for the swim team I coach. We already have a logo and name, but they're lame. We're taking a vote on a new name soon. Sure. What's the current name? Planet Swole Squids. Yeah. I mean, squids are cool and all, but we need something with more pizzazz, I think. Like the piranhas or hurricanes. Ah, I do like the piranhas. That would be a cool team name. Hell yeah, it would. That was my idea. If we got a cool logo for it, I'm sure I could sell them on it. I can definitely make something and see if you like it. That'd be great. I really appreciate it. I'm not super artistic. 
I'd love for you to come over and show me what you got. Oh, I'll show you what I've got, all right. If you have a computer at your home, I can use that to draw. I'm free after our workout if you are. I am, but we gotta get some food beforehand. I'm working up an appetite. How about you? I'm working up more than an appetite. I think this is the most exercise I've had in years. Man, there's this fantastic pizza place that I order from a lot. They got a sweet deal going for me. Four pizzas for 20 bucks. If you like pizza, we can do that. I like pizza. Mostly cheese. For sure, for sure. I'll order it when we're done here. We've only got three minutes left on the treadmill, and then it's cool down. I'm looking forward to cool down. I'll bet. You're gonna be so sore tomorrow, but it's gonna be a good sore. Like your muscles have just graduated high school and are on their way to college or something. Ugh, I remember when I used to try working out. Ugh. Great! I'm so done with that. <laughs> Don't worry. The trick to not having sore muscles is to not rest them, even when you're sore. So as long as you keep moving, they don't have time to be so awesome. We run the last couple minutes down on the treadmill, and Gluttony steps off his machine. Go ahead and turn it off. We'll hit the showers and head back to my place. Sounds good. I follow Gluttony to the showers. There's nobody else using them. The night shift is just arriving, and the daytime users have already left. Let me call in the pizza order before we get too far. My apartment is only a few minutes walk. I rest on a bench outside Planet Swall, my whole body feeling like someone hit every place with a sledgehammer. Take all the time you need. Gluttony pulls out a phone and speed dials the pizza place. After a brief conversation with the owner, he's ordered four pizzas, one with extra cheese. There we go. They'll bring it by my place in a half hour. I'm starving. I don't know how Kosuke isn't fat, genuinely, because remember with greed how many pizzas we ate? Didn't you just eat a large meal though? Yeah, but I worked it all off at the gym, so no worries there. Ah, that's good. We walk down the road behind the gym, and an older brick apartment comes into view. That must be where Gluttony lives. We walk up the street, and a metal staircase climbs to the top of the multi-story complex. We could take the elevator, but no need to turn down an opportunity for exercise, right? Right. My poor, abused muscles. <laughs> we climb the stairs, and my aching muscles decide to give me one last burst of energy. Luckily, Gluttony's apartment is only on the second floor. I wonder if sex is going to be like this with him. Like, he's going to be about maximizing the amount of calories we burn while doing it. <laughs> like, we're just going to be going so fast, and oh my god, in such high intensity, I'm afraid. We're here. I hope you don't mind dogs. I have a husky. He's a sweetheart, though. He loves people. I'm fine with dogs. Don't worry. Sweet. His name is Ganny. He'll warm up to you if you give him some pets. We walk into Gluttony's apartment, and we're greeted by his dog, Ganny, immediately. Ganny walks up to me and sniffs my hand, then my shoes, and promptly loses interest. The dog walks back over to his bed and lays down. Now, upon the sight of this beautiful hound, I will end this video here, but I'd like to thank all of my patrons that support me at the Aiden tier or above, and their names are NQS, Felix, Blue Lagoon, Jesse Olsen, and Hooray is my way. So thank you all for supporting me on there, and I thank all my other patrons for supporting me as well, making it possible for me to play games like this on my channel, and we come back in the next video... I think we're gonna eat pizza, um, I'm not sure where we're gonna go with Greed, I think he's just gonna keep torturing us until eventually he, he decides to have sex with us, like, I don't see where we go from here. He's gonna keep torturing us with exercise, then we're gonna sleep together a few times, then we're gonna leave and tell him, you know, uh, Alright, I I can't. I've been interrupted like five times today, just like yesterday or the last video. I can't. I don't know where I was with the outro, but I'm ending the video. Like, I am sorry. Goodbye.